I'm very fascinated by the botany, the stuff on the ground. Because of their amazing adaptations, the climate is incredibly difficult for them. And they make it. And not only do they make it, but they make it enough that animals can live off of them. You know, the interrelationships between everything growing up in the north is dramatic. The only thing is everything is miniature. They never get higher than this. And we have dwarf birch. So you get down on your hands and knees to see these things. But once you do that, they're fabulous. And these plants grow in little matted forms and, and uh, dome shapes, all to keep in warmth, protect against moisture loss, and protect from getting battered by this, these winds. A lot of willow species, um, a lot of saxifrage for some reason or another. Saxifrage is a type of plant, a plant family. It's a cushion plant, so it grows in a little mound. And it's a very early bloomer. You have these beautiful, tiny, tiny little purple flowers. All botany up here is what we call belly botanizing. You have to get down low <laughs> and check it out. A lot of these saxifrages will wait until the very last minute to shoot up yeah. so they don't have to deal with the wind. And really, really red to absorb as much light as they can in this dim sky. It's beautiful. And and like I was saying, you can tell you can tell the wind direction by the cotton nuts also, oh. or at least yesterday's wind. Look at all this fuzz here. Yeah. So earlier in the season, it really warmed up this plant. And you can see it's like it's the biggest flower we've seen. You know, there's nothing nothing to compare elsewhere. I think my favorite part is definitely walking across the tundra. It's like the the moss is, the, you know, it's very what's the word for it? It's spongy and and you know. It's just all these wildflowers and things that you wouldn't expect. It's, yeah, my, my, my favorite is either walking or running across the tundra. <laughs>